they can get back to the quicker cars and of course the Super Mini starting from the rear of the grid. The Sarbelt Merlin Super Mini Challenge round from Pukekohe, the Thunder in the Park meeting. Again, beautiful sunny conditions over the weekend. Three wide off the start down towards Genyon Homes. And Angus Fox just joined us back up in the commentary box, having uh, made the mad dash off the grid today, there with Roger Davis. Welcome back, Foggy. Thank you, Jamie. Good to be here. So this big field working their way through the S's, lap number one. Looking forward to the big drafting battle down the big back straight at Pukekohe. And a pretty good lineup this weekend, approaching 20 cars. Faster cars away for Robson in there in the 56. In four classes with the Super Mini Challenge. Mini Sevens, Miglias, Open and the Super Mini 61 there, Stephen Lovett, chased by Robin Greenland, Bill Robson through there in the light blue 56, Trent Dixon there in the 31, and the two Super Minis away, Kevin Townsend and Warren Heron, who already this weekend is top qualified in the 99 and won the first race here at the Thunder in the Park meeting at Pukekohe. Yeah, these Super Minis are really fast, they're nudging 145 horse, a good one, and uh, sort of 600 kg, so they're fairly lively, let me tell you. Battles through the field, 52 in there, that's Peter Amies. It's oh. passed around the outside, that's a big pass. Young Elliot here in there, taken after his dad, uh, a bit of a Pukekohe expert. So Elliot here and taking over the front running. Stephen Lovett works his way up over the top of Ford Mountain. Great shot there. Down underneath the GT Radials bridge. Trent Dixon, Bill Robson going at it down into one. How big is that bump now down into turn number one, especially with these front wheel drive cars, Foggy? Well, I'd say if, uh, if you had the car reasonably stiff, it would just about get swallowed up and you wouldn't be able to see it coming out the other side. But they managed to get through. The great thing about this class is it's such a variance of um, handling versus horsepower versus driver skill. So you get a real mix-up. 52, Peter Amy's there. He's battling with the 19. That's Richard Wagstaff, of course. Long-time mini campaigner. That thing's actually a little 900cc with a turbocharger. Some fantastic engineering has gone into some of these race cars. And again, just showing the diversity across the four classes. Amy's up over the top of Ford Mountain. Beautifully presented car. As Elliot here and continues to lead in the 66. Well, listen to that thing hum. I think it's a little 970cc engine. It's probably pulling near on 9,000 RPM down the front straight there. You were saying on the grid with Roger Davis that at idle these cars run on three cylinders. Why is that? Oh, it's just the way they've got a Siamese port um, cylinder head arrangement and the way that the inlet manifold flows with at low speed, they just sort of pop and fart away. It's quite interesting. Whoop, sideways here for Tim Pike. Yeah, Tim Pike's there in the 22, 45 there was in the mix as well, Scott Thompson. So the first race on Sunday for the Sabout Merlin Super Mini Challenge from Pukekohe. And here you've got a classic Mini 7 slipstreaming battle. That's the 11 of Mark Haddon. There's a battle of ages there. You've got a guy that's 20 and another guy that's near on 80. Yeah, Bill Robson. Here's a seasoned campaign is probably a nicer way to put it, Angus. <laughs> that's right, I like rubbing it into Puggy. 45 back there, Scott Thompson. He's been one of the front runners in the Super Mini Challenge over the last couple of seasons. It's a daunting part of the track up over the top of Ford Mountain. Yeah, flat of course in a mini and around this next corner, absolutely flat. Um, I think there's only really two, two decent points. There's a big move from Parky around the outside maybe. Nah, it didn't make it stick. Tried to make it stick, he couldn't quite complete it. Just missed time to run through the S's. You can hear the squeal of the tyres up in front. Great racing here, Sabout Merlin Super Mini Challenge and Elliot here and still is your race leader in the 66. He's lapping in the 116s, the Super Mini's at the back, Kevin Townsend. They're down in the 109 second range with Warren Heron as Mark Haddon works his way through. Here comes Thompson, Parkinson, two and three wide under breaks down to the hairpin. The Mini 7 cars have come a long way since I used to race them. They're probably another 20 horse on what the old 850s used to be. 
Um, we used to have drum breaks all around and all sorts of scary stuff, but um, quite a neat little race car now. Is it getting harder to put these cars together new if you are looking at building a brand new car? No, nah, no problem at all. You can buy any, every single nut, bolt and washer you like from the UK and body shells here are you know, still quite plentiful, so no, no problem at all. So they scream down into Genyon. What a great sound just echoing underneath the big grandstand here at Pukekohe. Mark Haddon goes through in the 11th, chased by Parkinson, Thompson. Elliot Heron still your race leader. There's Tim Pipes going through in the 22. And here's Heron down through the kink. He's got a great lead here. You'd have to say that he's uh, he might have bolted. Thompson and Parkinson side by side. What sort of speeds would you be looking at with these cars down the back chute at Pookie? Um, well, oh, brake lock up there for Thompson. Depends on the class, obviously. The, the Mini 7's probably 105 mile an hour, maybe. The, the Super Minis would be 130. Um, they really get along, I tell you. You see they're getting along because the two Super Minis are lapping in the 109s and it's pretty serious pace around Pukekohe. Well, it's the same pace as, as the new BMW Mini for the Supercharger go, so that's uh, pretty impressive, really. Slipstreaming battle down off the front straight. Headed Parkinson down the inside, should give him the line down into one. That's a great pass. Good move there from Parky. Like in the old days, there used to be 10 or 12 of us doing that. It's just unbelievable. Really good racing and uh, quite spine tickling. This is the best battle on the racetrack at the moment. No sign of the Super Minis. They're slowly working their way through this field. But Elliot Heron, he's doing a great job out here in front. Here's here some more popping out under the slipstream. Three, NASCAR styles. Three wide, down under brakes into the hairpin. Haddon, Thompson, Parkinson, Pipes, all four nose to tail. Off the hairpin. And all these guys do a lot of work on the cars themselves, you know, it's a real family sort of atmosphere and, um, you know, I, I get people weekly ringing up asking, you know, how they can get started and what, what they should be doing and um, only too only too glad to help. Yeah, we've got five cars in this battle for second, Steve Lovitz and there is goal, that's Kevin Townsend going off. Well, that's a big hit from Kevin to that wall, Always. Trent Dixon had to take avoiding action. Well, a big moment there for Kevin Townsend, and he's done quite a bit of damage to the front of the race car. Look at that, it's a mini powered by a radiator. So Mark Haddon, love it, love it's working his way through. He's picked off three in the last lap. We saw that big moment there for Kevin Townsend. That was a real awkward part of the racetrack. Here it is again. What do yeah. you think may have gone on there, Something Angus? Something's broken there, or maybe a, a tyre's deflated. A very unusual place for him to go on. So the safety car out on the racetrack. Won't be a restart though because we've got a chequered flag here on the start finish line. So Elliot Heron will take the victory and the win in the open class. Stephen Lovett second, first in Miglia. Mark Haddon third, first in sevens. So the first race results, Elliot Heron with the victory, obviously taking out the open class. Steve Lovett second, first in Miglia. Go back to Mark Haddon, Chris Parkinson, Scott Thompson in mini seven. Warren Heron was the first of the Super Minis. Go back to Robin Greenland and Miglia in ninth. Peter Amy's in 10th in open.